Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about memory allocation algorithms. Means, which are the different algorithms that can be used to allocate a memory to any process for the execution. So, let us start the different algorithms. Mainly, there are four different types of algorithms to allocate a memory to any process. First algorithm is first fit. Second one is next fit. Third one is best fit and fourth one is worst fit let us see each and every algorithm one by one so let us start with the first algorithm that is first fit here to explain each and every algorithm we will consider this scenario this one is our memory which is divided into small partitions in our case we have divided our memory into five partitions first partition of 100 kilobyte second partition of 500 kilobyte third partition of 200 kilobyte fourth partition of 300 kilobyte and last one of 600 kilobyte and each partition are of different size as well as we cannot move the boundary of any partition towards any side means we cannot move this boundary towards this side or towards this side means we cannot expand the size of this partition now let us see how this algorithm will work here this algorithm will start the searching from the starting location of memory and move towards the end side so this algorithm will start from this point and move towards this side and once the algorithm will find out a partition that is the large enough to hold the process then that partition is selected for the allocation now whenever a partition is selected to any process then that partition is divided into two parts first part that is allocated to process and second one that is unused memory or we can say a whole now let us take example suppose there are four process process 1 process 2 process 3 and process 4 are of size 212 kilobytes that is first process second process of 470 kilobytes third process of 112 kilobytes and fourth one of 426 kilobytes these four process are arrives in this order only first second third and fourth now by using first fit how this memory are allocated to these process let us see so first process that is of 212 kilobytes so what this algorithm will do this algorithm will start from this position We'll find out the first hole that is the large enough to hold this process then that partition is allocated to that process. So first partition of 100 kilobytes so that is not large enough to hold this process. So second one of 500 kilobytes that is the large enough to hold this process. So this algorithm will stop here and will allocate this partition to this process so this process placed over here in the second partition now this partition is divided into two parts this portion is allocated to process and this one is unused memory so unused memory becomes of 288 kilobytes now if we consider the second one 417 again your process starts from here this one is not enough this one is not enough this one is again not enough for this process this one is again not enough here 600 kilobytes partition that is the fifth one is the large enough to hold this process so this process is plussed over here again these partition are divided into two part first one is allocated to process and second one is unused memory that is of 183 kilobyte now third process that requires 112 kilobytes so this partition is not large enough again this one is a large enough so this process can be placed over here so this process is placed over here again this is divided into two part 112 kilobytes that is allocated to process and remaining is unused memory that is 176 kilobyte now last one is 426 kilobyte again this partition is not enough this partition is again not enough to hold this process this partition is again not enough this partition is again not enough and this partition again not enough 
we cannot place this process in between these two partition means there is only one partition that is allocated to any process we cannot allocate more than one partition to any process so here this process that is the fourth process of size 426 kilobyte will not get any partition for the allocation so in this way first fit algorithm will work next move further what are the advantages and disadvantages of first fit algorithm so first one is the advantage of this algorithm is it is the fastest algorithm because it searches as little as possible because this algorithm will start from this point means the starting of memory and once this algorithm will find out a partition that is the large enough to hold the process then that partition is allocated to the process after that this algorithm will not search for the remaining part of memory but here the disadvantage is memory loss is higher because as the very large hole may be selected for a smaller process now next algorithm is next fit again here we consider the same scenario this algorithm will work same as the first fit but the difference is that it keeps the track of where it is whenever it finds a suitable hole and the next time when it is called to find a hole then it start the searching from the least from the place where it left up last time let us take example we are having this same four process of same size now for a pro first process of size 212 kilobytes so this algorithm will start from the starting of memory so first hole or we can say first partition is not large enough to hold this process but the second one is the large enough to hold this process so this process is placed over here and this partition is divided into two parts this one is allocated to process and this one is the free space now in next fit when the second process will arrive that is the second process of 470 kilobytes then this algorithm will start searching from here not from the starting position that is the difference between the first fit and next fit so if we consider the second process of size 417 kilobytes then it starts searching from here so this one is not large enough this partition is not large enough this partition is also not large enough but this partition is large enough to hold this process so this process is placed over here and again this one is the unused memory that is 183 kilobyte now it comes for third process now next time when the third process will arrive at that time your algorithm will start searching from this point this portion will not be searched again by the algorithm so here the third process require 112 kilobytes so here this portion is large enough to hold this process so this process is placed over here now we have only 71 kilobytes memory and fourth process require 426 kilobytes so this process fourth process of size 426 kilobytes will not get any partition for the allocation so here the difference between first fit and next fit is that in first fit every time your algorithm will start the searching from the first position of memory whereas in next fit the algorithm will st start the searching from the point where it left off last time now next move further what are the advantages and disadvantages of next fit here the advantages is search time is smaller because every time this algorithm will not start the searching from the starting point here your entire memory is searched only once and the disadvantages is here memory manager must have to keep the track of last allotted hole to process so that next time the searching will take place from that position only and it gives slightly worse performance than first feed now next move further to best fit in this algorithm the entire memory is searched here once the entire memory is searched then after searching the entire memory the smallest hole which is the largest enough to hold the process is selected for the allocation let us take example 
here when the first process of size 212 kilobytes will arrive at that time your memory manager will search the entire memory and out of all these five partitions your memory manager will find out the smallest hole that is the large enough to hold this process and that partition is allocated to that process so if we consider the first that is of 100 kilobytes so this process cannot be fit in this partition second of 500 kilobytes so this can be fit in this partition this process cannot fit in this partition this process can be fit in this partition this process can fit in this partition so out of these three partition this one is the smallest partition to hold this process so this process will be placed over here if we consider the second process of size 470 kilobytes then this is the smallest hole that is the large enough to hold this process so this process is placed over here now for the third process of size 112 kilobytes then this one is the smallest hole that is the large enough to hold this process that why this process is placed over here now if we consider the fourth process of size 426 kilobyte then this one is the smallest partition to hold this process so this process is placed over here so in this algorithm each and every process will get a memory now what are the advantages and disadvantages of best fit algorithm here the disadvantage is search time is high because every time this algorithm will search the entire memory but the advantage is memory loss is less because here we are allocating the smallest hole that is the large enough to hold the process that's why the memory loss is very less next move further fourth algorithm that is the worst fit here the entire memory is searched here as we have seen in base fit but the difference is that this algorithm will select the largest hole which is the largest enough to hold the process and that partition is selected and allocated to that process whereas in base fit here the difference that is the smallest hole in base fit the smallest hole is selected whereas in worst fit the largest hole is selected to allocate process let us take example suppose the when the first process of size 212 kilobytes will arrive at that time this algorithm will search the entire memory and out of all these partition this algorithm will select the largest hole that is these 600 kilobytes so this process will be placed over here now when the second process will arrive again this algorithm will search the entire memory and find out the largest hole so this is the largest hole so this process is placed over here now third process is placed over here because this is the largest hole and fourth process will not be placed at anywhere because there isn't enough hole which is the largest enough to hold this process so this process will not get any partition for the allocation now next move further what are the advantages and disadvantages of worst fit first disadvantage is search time is high because this algorithm will also search the entire memory and after that it takes decision and this algorithm can be used only with dynamic partition only otherwise it will waste more memory so in this way all the algorithm will works thank you very much